It was something like none of us had ever experienced or seen or heard. It was so cool. That was like your basic turning point. When we saw that, we said, yeah, that's what we want to do. You know, it's a moment in your life that lasts about three minutes. We never knew what we were part of. We were just having fun. And then 40 years later, people are writing about it. It was a fun scene back then. Every young guy in the world wanted to play guitar. Well, a lot of people, a lot of screaming people. It certainly changed my life. I mean, I'm still doing it. In the 1960s, all across America, there were teen scenes. For me, the teen scenes, whether in any town, big or small, is where it all begins. happening all over the country and the thing that made Fort Worth different was the way that they would bring their own personalities to it, what, whatever it meant to be from Fort Worth and grow up in Fort Worth. Ray Beard and Dennis Beard put together a club called Tina Go Go and provided a place for us to play. Up until that time, it was uh, uh, bars and things like that, and they were, they were primarily for adults. They served alcohol, and uh, there really wasn't any place for teenagers to go. And so it really was breaking ground. No one had done that before. Tina Gogo -Go was, was the top go-go -Go place in Fort Worth during the 60s. It was teenagers just out dancing to live music and, and having fun and going out to hear their favorite bands. and. Each Friday or whatever nights that these happened, the places were packed. We started out on the floor, and then all yeah. of a sudden they started building yeah. the ramps yeah. and the staging and everything. There was, uh, some nights it'd be 1,500 kids there. If you, if you were booked at a, at a go go, you were, you were a star. Now, we were local celebrities, probably as much as anybody else. There was no place like that that I'm aware of. And people, you know, anybody that would come visit me and we would go like on a Friday or Saturday night to one of those things, they'd be like, holy cow, these bands are good. Uh, I'm from Fort Worth and I'm a, I'm a fan of garage music and I didn't know that there were so many bands uh, from Fort Worth, especially teen bands, uh, so I was amazed. I was surprised to learn that some of our songs had been covered by groups across the country and even across the ocean. My brother called me several months ago and he said you should get on eBay and yeah. because they're they're selling our record Let's Dance and somebody from uh, outside of, was it Germany? Yeah. Paid like $325 for the thing and we remember uh, throwing them in the lake. It's exciting like how, how many great bands came out of Fort Worth. The music that came out of Fort Worth couldn't have happened anywhere else. Fort Worth is not one of the top 10 major cities in America, so people think Fort Worth teen scene, that's, that's a little odd, you know, no it's not, listen, it's really, really good records, and they'll always sound good.